Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm a student physical therapist. I'm here with my patient Shai and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do manual lymphatic techniques to treat post-operative um, knee surgery. So Shai, first um, I'll have you laying down in a supine position and I, I'd have you start with um, 10 deep breaths and then I'd work on um, the upper section but today we're going to start with the abdomen and work our way down and so first I'm going to place my um, hand on top of her stomach, above her um, navel. So I'm just gonna have you do five to 10 deep breaths. And on the exhale, I'm gonna um, bring the skin upwards, okay? Okay. And start. And when I'm doing this, I'm just moving the skin. I don't wanna move the muscle. Now I'm going to move down and I'm going to do one hand over here and one hand across her pelvis. I'm going to be doing the same type of technique, uh, bringing the skin upwards, okay? Once we've cleared the abdomen, I'm going to start with her thigh and then work to her knee. We're going to start with the proximal lymph nodes, which are um, proximal femoral triangle, which would be right here. I'm going to be doing an L stretch, which is sliding the skin up and superior. I'm going to do that 10 times. I'm going to, do you mind if I go underneath your skin? And when I do this, I'm lifting up each time. I'm not just sliding my hands back. After I've done 10 of those, I would then do the distal um, lymph nodes um, on the distal femoral triangle. And the same L stretch. After I uh, cleared the uh, proximal and distal femoral triangle, I'd move on to the anterior thigh and I would be doing um, L stretches again, going up the thigh. And every time I go up the thigh, I do it minimum five times going upwards. And then if I'd like, I can always go one hand after the other to increase the lymphatic drainage. After I've done that five times, I'd go on to dynamic C stretches, so just going up and down the skin. And I would again do this up the thigh and uh, complete it at least five times. After I've done that five times, I'd move on to the medial thigh and start with L stretches. Again, same technique, just like the anterior thigh. And after I've done that at least five times, I move on to the C. Make sure to maybe face my patient so that's the direction of force you're trying to press away. 
and then you can also change it up and do an L stretch followed by a C, L stretch followed by a C. So we do that up the leg. And then I do the same thing on the lateral thigh. So L stretches. No, you just do C set stretches on the lateral thigh. And we do that uh, five times. And then uh, we're finally onto the knee. And I would start on the anterior knee. We're gonna start with L stretches. Let me do this again, minimum five times. And after we've done that five times, we'd move on to the C stretches. Sure, you come up and down each time. Then we do the medial thigh, doing those L stretches. And you can also add in double or doing an L stretch next with the C. Let me do that again on the lateral. And then you can also lift up and down the skin by lifting up and superior. So continue that drainage. Sure, and we do that five times. And then once I'm completed with the knee, I would then uh, bring it back up and follow with deep breathing all the way to the end. And that's